Destruction from Hurricane Sally extends beyond flooding and power outages. It's also affecting blood donations. One Blood has been forced to suspend its operations in most Panhandle locations, making Bay County one of the only areas in the region to donate blood. News 13's Tess Rowland caught up with residents who say it's important to donate. I got a text this morning that there was a blood shortage. Bay County residents far and wide made their way to the Bay County Government Center and Bay County Emergency Operations Center with one mission, to give to our neighbors in need. When we had the Hurricane Michael, everybody came out to help. So I wanted to do my part to help out uh, the folks that need it, you know, for the Sally. They rolled up their sleeves. It took about 15 minutes. And made a donation that could save lives. My body will replenish this pretty quickly. I won't have any effects from it. Uh, but it will really make a world of difference for somebody else. For some, the choice to be a donor started long before Hurricane Sally. 19 years ago, I, my daughter was a preemie, and one of the NICU babies had to have a blood transfusion. So that's what started me donating my blood. After experiencing blood shortages due to the pandemic and now closures of Panhandle locations due to Hurricane Sally, One Blood Senior Vice President Susan Forbes says they need blood donations now more than ever. Six months into the pandemic and we are still not able to return to many of the traditional locations where we would normally host blood drives, yet that need for blood continues. One Blood did not say when operations would resume for their other Panhandle locations, making Bay County one of the only areas in the region that people can donate blood. Reporting in Panama City, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong. And while this may have been one of the last county-sponsored blood drives, One Blood is still accepting donations in our area. They will be at the Edgewater Shops tomorrow from noon until 5.